crime crisis on a region. Many of the suspects and victims are teenagers. And now leaders in Prince George's County are working to find solutions to those alarming numbers. Fox 5's Nana Senya Bonsu is live at Bowie State University with the story for us tonight. Hi, Nana. Hey, Jim and Angie. So here in Prince George's County, juveniles make up more than half of the carjacking arrests tonight. County leaders saying it's time to engage with the community to help protect children. Dude, what the fuck <laughs> is wrong with these people? <laughs> juveniles are carjacking. We have to protect them. From who? <laughs> Each other. What the fuck is this bitch talking about? <laughs> yeah, some people are crazy. For the record, she's reading off the teleprompter. We, so we gotta. I know, but it's like anybody watching this should just be like, rewind that shit. What the fuck did this bitch just say? Mm -mm. We have to protect the murderers from murder. Like, what the f what? Sue is live at Bowie State University with the story for us tonight. Hi, Nana. Hey, Jim and Angie. So here in Prince George's County, juveniles make up more than half of the carjacking arrests tonight. County leaders saying it's time to engage with the community to help protect children. That we, the youth of this county, are fed up. Violent crime is up almost 10% compared to last year, and leaders say it's time to regain control of the community with looking at some possible anti-crime bills like juvenile justice reform and parental accountability. Let me bring... Annapolis to boo. Maryland State Senator Ron Watson walked a room full of residents through some concerning headlines. We know what happened at Duval High School. We heard about Baby K. Music teacher attacked in an elementary school. All of these cases involving the youth. The number one thing that breaks my heart are the young children that are committing these crimes. At the meeting hosted by Councilwoman Ingrid Watson at Bowie State University. Now she probably identifies as black, right? Oh yeah! Oh surprised. yeah! With that fucking hair and everything. With that oh, hairstyle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she a black woman. She the blackest woman in there too. You oh yeah, she knows. She knows all the names and the history, and got all the closet full of bullshit. Oh god. The number one thing that breaks my heart are the young children that are committing these crimes. At the meeting hosted by Councilwoman Ingrid Watson at Bowie State University, Chief Malik Aziz shared some numbers with the audience. In 2022, almost 3,000 cars were stolen. And this year alone, that number is over 7,500. <laughs> and think about God. this. 2022 was like the 2022 numbers were records from 2019. Like 2020 was better, was more than 2019. 2021 was more than 2020. 2022 was more than 2021. So for them to more than double 2022, it's probably quadrupling 2019. That's why I tell you that with gliders, the, the game play with the years and shit rolling over after the year. Ever since George Floyd, I want to see the 2019 numbers and see how much 2023 is more than them. Fuck what 2023 is more than 2022. You feel me, though? Yeah, the running total over over a certain time span. Yeah, that would be helpful. Because there was an explosion in 2020 of crime. And you can't compare. Like, yo. If they doubled 2022, more than doubled it, this is a crisis of epic proportions. And her saying... 2022, almost... I was going to say, her saying, like, it breaks my heart to find out it's a youth doing it. it. Her heart is breaking for these offenders. She doesn't give a flying fuck about the victims that had to suffer through their cars being carjacked and yep. whatever, how, however victimized they are. The, the hundreds of people beaten. Yeah. People shot, people, old people pistol whipped. She, like that, those people, she couldn't name one of them. But I bet you she knows up and down the life story of dozens of these little fucks. Yeah. It, and, and, and to say that, like, it's just so tone deaf, but whatever, man.
University, Chief Malik Aziz shared some numbers with the audience. In 2022, almost 3,000 cars were stolen. And this year alone, that number is over 7,500. Uh, that should alarm you. And when it comes to carjackings, there's been 530 since the beginning of the year and 229 arrests. Juveniles make up more than half of those arrests. <laughs> Police are still searching for suspects in a recent shooting in Hyattsville the morning after Thanksgiving when a group chased a man firing over 40 shots in his direction. That's a scary as shit, bro. To me. It should be disturbing to every neighbor. It should be disturbing to anyone uh, within distance around that area that, uh, that you could commit such an act uh, and cause harm to anyone. We're told a bullet went through a young girl's bedroom window in several cars. I mean, that could have hit a child, it could have hit a mother, I mean, a father. I mean, this is families here. Antonio Mingo lives in Suitland. He wants more from county leaders. Don't just wait till form when the numbers that went up high and that's out of your control or, you know, anything else. So be in the community. Now, yeah, since the beginning it. of the year, Prince George's County Police, they are reporting 88 homicides, and in 10 of those cases, the victims are juveniles. Why are they over-policing us, man?